big news everyone, Loyal, Laurie's speaking to me on stream, that's scary I didn't know he knew what a stream was, he's pretty old Brothers is still remaining 10th place in between the GTR brothers. When he breaks, he gets into 8th. Looks like everybody's pointing in the right direction apart from Julian's lost a lot of time. Ooh, so is Danzilla. What have I missed? Third place. It's disconnected. I think somebody left. 16, 17, 8. No, everyone's still here. Looks like a bit of an accident. Kept going. And uh, Tadpole's chasing back. <laughs> I'm better than that, Laurie. Oh. I won't ask for any money. Danzilla is 30 seconds behind. My Sheeman, by the speed of his speed of the car, he's got extensive damage. Yep, pretty much. Oh, his car looks a bit poorly. We won't watch him die, we'll go somewhere else. We'll jump on third place. Third place unfolded, who Clammy has already said, let's go. Tadpole's in first, unfolded in third. Is that the same clam that used to race with us? Bit of a uh, fell running out wide. We've got a bit of a gap already. Look at the gap to third, fourth place. Did they start at the same time? Birchie and Ricky, and then a big old gap again. Noble runs wide by the looks of it. That was our race so far. They pulled a safety car. Are they quitting? I'm assuming everyone's quitting. Restart. Right. That, either that, or nobody else has got the message to the other guys, as there's only three on track. Guys, you with us? Yeah? Oh, yeah, everyone's there. God, that confused the hell out of me. My brain couldn't handle that. So, we'll just wait for a second. Oh, I better spectate, really, aren't I, guys? Hey, there's me looking all pretty, but not even spectating. Nick will be swearing at me. Here we go, race two, take two. And there's the clapper. 
Laurie, you're watching. You might as well come and join me if you want, mate. Have a bit of northern commentary going on. See if the viewers actually understand a word you're saying. As we deal with the black screen of Forza. That's uh, later, longer than normal, to be fair. Oh, here we go. No, let's we'll click on that one. We'll go to that one. Go on there. Click on that one. Boom. We are off. Oh, there's contact already again. And there's contact. Morzan is facing the wrong way. Well, he might as well be. Nick's found his way in 11th. Brad is still 12th. Scotty Guy 13th. Zane's got a job and a half to do now. Scotty Guy just avoids the rear corner of Bradders. Ooh, side by side by side. Side by side by side. Ooh, Bradders was a bit later on the brakes than Nick was there. I could see a crunching manoeuvre. And it never came, thankfully. Ooh, somebody's facing the wrong way. I think that was Tadpole. Has he unfolded? Oh, what's the job was that? Oh, it was Ricky. Oh, Rick. Brad is now eighth. No, you, you don't want to restart. Tadpole's winning. Uh, you, you, restart's no good for you. You see Brad is carving through the field. in front of him for 7th and 8th. The field is split again. The rules on the restart are simple. If two or more cars are damaged within the first lap, we restart. If on, on the second restart, if two or more cars are damaged, then we go for a safety car period. Oh, it's good traction from Bradders again. Just showing with the build and the drive he's got. Triggers next, followed by Dan Zilla. But then there's a hefty old gap in front. There's a four second gap to Okinos. As Bradders gets the move done again. Lovely move, Brad. Jump a bit further back because it's looking congested. The fell and trigger. Getting close to that rear quarter of Nafel. I think that's why Trigger tapped the brake slightly earlier. You could see the danger coming. Ricky's lost a minute nearly. Ricky must have had damage in that accident. It's obviously pitted now. Yeah, he has. He's got 98%. Julian as he unfolds is back to 15th, which is good news for Unfolded. Olzan and Nobel are side by side. Scotty guys just in front. If Olzan will throw it up the inside of Noble, he won't. Not on this corner. Oh, he might do. Put the early apex. A bit of a glitch looked like from Scotty. Oh no, that's the noise I don't like. Normally indicates a disconnection. And the disconnection, I think, would be somebody... Ooh, he runs over the curb. Ah, oh, Scotty. Yeah, we said about he looked like he lagged a bit. There's Noble's on the inside of Trigger. That was a lovely move from Noble there. 
Trigger holds the inside, he may prevent Molzane. I'm going to go up front for a bit. This is interesting, but I want to see how Okinos, Birchi and Tadpole are getting on. They've still got a 3 and a 3.6 second lead from Danzilla. I see Bradders just about on the back of Danzilla. I see a newly acquired NWR driver. I just can't get the move done. He's got Nafel half a second behind him. Four of six heading in uh, four of sixteen even. Bloody four of six. They're building a bit of a gap to Nafel. Point three to Danzilla. Pit lane opens on lap six. Ooh, a lock up from Brad. He gets around the inside. Late break in there from Danzilla. Okinos is still on the back of Birchy. Tadpole's still got a bit of a lead. They've got 4.2 seconds to Bradders. Unfortunately, with Bradders' pace he had in the first lap, it's only a matter of time before he's on the back of this one. Unfold is now up to 13th. You'd be happy to hear, Clam. No? Done well. Give your boy some praise. Royals on the back of Throttle, who's in turn on the back of Trigger. Loyal was unfortunate in that first race, pardon me. Let's see, the gap's still, well, the gap's come down by half a second from Bradders. Throttle's going to hug that inside, but it's going to give Loyal the traction. Zane is right on the back of Nick by the looks of things. Nick may have made this easier by his little wander onto the grass. I say he doesn't shove his nose out but he gets within fag paper of the back of Nick's car. What I want now is everyone to forget to pit, because this is quite exciting. Nick holds the inside. I'm saying it's got to go the long way, then the short way. That was a cracking move there. No other word for it, that was a lovely move. It looks like Birchy is... Getting closer to Tadpole, and that's not going to help. Tadpole's going to give Birchie the run. Can Birchie get the switch? So Tadpole needs to just roll his brakes, let himself hit the apex, roll out, stop the apex on the way through, which is exactly what he does. And all that time, it gives Okinos an opportunity to get closer. Birchie, I think, has got the run on dead Tadpole again. Gets the break in, gets turned in. Now he's still ahead, he's going to cover the inside line again. Classic racing manoeuvre, let himself drift out, stop the other person. So he's done it again, he stopped him hitting the apex. Classic, classic moves there from Tadpole. So they've still got 2.9 seconds to Bradders. Bradders has gained over a second on that last lap, but it's not surprising with these two fighting the way they are. Noble and Danzilla. Noble is, by the looks of it, virtually inside Danzilla at the moment. See when this gap gets closer. I think 
Noble could be getting him through the left hand sweeper. Probably got a special name like Carousel or crap, I don't care. It's a Noma swoop, we'll call it that for today. It's so much earlier on the acceleration is Noble. Doesn't seem to get any better traction. Birchie and Tadpole look like they're heading side by side again. But if Tadpole manages to keep this throughout the pit cycle, this is going down with one of my favourite defensive drives of a long, long time. Is he going to cover? He is going to cover. He's not going to pit. Birchie should. He does. Radders doesn't. So let's go back to this one. Loyal and Throttle. Loyal's still behind. Loyal's pitting by the looks of it. No, he's not. He wants to do it on track. Is it Throttle? Let's see if anyone else is close. Bradders is. Wow, Bradders has closed that. Oof. Bradders has closed that by again. Another second and a half. I don't think you've got to worry about Tadpole choking. No, I'm a fan of Birchie, but Bradders is a whole different story if he gets behind him. One point six now, one point five. You'll just see that come down. In race one, Brad has shown his superiority on this one. With lap eight of sixteen. Pit lane closes on lap 10. Well, after lap 10. Oh. Now down to 1 4. No real change in this lap. Let's see when he throws it into the pit lane. No, Brad is just staying out. Wow, he closes the gap down there. Heavy braking. It took 0.3 of a second in one braking point. Let's keep going back. There's a battle for 12th and 13th. Okinos and Birchie. It's the, it's the battle for, at the moment, P2. Yes, Laurie, shut up. I'm yawning. Come and join me in commentary, Laurie. Come on. Okinos is still half a second behind. I am going to go and see what Bradders is up to still. Oh, my, as it does do that sometimes, yep. Always oh, he's pulled it down to half a second. This isn't a choke, trust me. Tadpole's done well to lead for 10 laps. What was a fractious start to this race? If I was Tadpole, I would probably pit right now. Laurie, I'd love to get you in with me next week, mate. Bring it. If I was him, I'd pit now. No, but Brad as is. So you don't want to lose that time by staying in front of somebody you know is quicker. Where is there they are? Okinos and Birchie. Oh, double D himself. Let's see where they come out compared. Oh, oh, he managed to keep it. See where they come out compared to Tadpole, because that was the fight. If these two have continued their fight, they may have lost a little bit of time. So Tadpole is moving. I think he's just about to get onto the racetrack. He may keep the gap just... Uh, oh, Bradders even. Sorry, not Tom Tadpole. Bloody hell. Bradders is 0.4 behind. So in my maths, this shows me Birch is actually leading this race. Because the last pit's going to be this lap, if he can remain ahead. 
and she's got de facto P1. This is definitely our battle. Keep me hover over because I'm thinking Dadpole's going to have to pit this lap. Pardon, because I think Bradders is stalking him like a hungry great white. Oh, as Okinos shows his nose. Just letting Birch you know he's still there. I think Ina, I think they all know this is for P1 at the minute. Tadpole's going to come out just amongst these. Brad is looking for that gap. He knows the gap's going to arrive. He's got the better traction. Dan puts his foot onto the grass. Radis breaks a bit later, side by side, no rough, no tumble, no touch. Superb racing. Tadpole again just about to hit the race. Birchy I think is going to get him. These two are going to be mightily close. Oh, as they had to slow down. Tadpole did nothing wrong. Tadpole's our man for now. They're free going into one. Gonna watch it for half a lap while I have a drink of water and rest me throat a sec. He did drop three places in the pits. However, he was slower than them before the pits. He was just a great defensive drive. So they had a bit of free air. Let's see if he can do anything about it from behind. Noble's only four and a half seconds. Okinos takes the wider line, hoping to get the traction out. Bradders, as I'm going to have to jump on Bradders now because I want to see this move take place. Bradders is all over the rear end now. It's giving Birchie a bit of breathing space out front. Let's see if he's going to go for the dive. He's, he's put his car in the position. Oh, that was a bit of movement under brake in there. Could have ended nastily. So you get your braking done in a straight line, or if you're going to trail brake, that's fine. But make sure there's not any nobody up the rear quarter. That is so quick for the first sector. Okinos is just managing to stay in front, which is, you know, all you need to do. Ricky DNF'd. I don't know if that's disconnection or being four hours behind. Tadpole's not left this group yet. He's still only half a second behind. We're on lap 12 of 16. following the Birchie train. Let's see if Birchie can defend like Tadpole did. Radis has dropped back slightly. Again through that, he's just mighty. Dan's keeping him behind. Dan had to run wide there. Like contact with Birchy. Oh, Bradders is running run wide. See if he can get the traction out. Dan covers the inside. Okinos. Bradders going to switch back on that, get the traction out. Dan's trying to close the door. Didn't get the job done. Bradders goes into second. 
Virtue's got a one second advantage at the moment. This fight was the best thing that happened to him. We are on we are on the place to be. Let's go back on to unfolded uh, unfolded tadpole. Let's watch it from the back. So he's now gonna have a run on Okinos. Puff of smoke comes through. Is tadpole gonna look at the inside? He does, but he shows his thing earlier. And again, the movement in the breaking zone. lost some time because of that. Bradders is now off-road. Bradders is now point three behind Birchie. This isn't going to be a cakewalk. Saw at the top there, Brad has put in a 29 4 during this race. The whole field is separated by what 36 seconds, 20 for the 13. Just shows how close the racing is. Yeah, he's in seventh. He's in a bit of a race of his own at the moment, Danzilla. No one really in front of him and nobody behind him. Looks like Tadpole's lost a bit more time. But she and Bradders are going to go at it for the last two laps. Mokinos hasn't left this party yet. He's only 0.6 behind. Bradders has to check up on the brakes. Overtakes, doesn't overtake. I think he let up knowing that he'd cut the corner. He's an inch away from the perfect line. Bradders again is closing the gap. Birchie keeps closing that door. for a slightly different tactic. He's going for the wide, but look how close Okinos is now. Just saw that little blue nose arrive. Birchie's gone side by side with Bradders. Oh, there's contact. Okinos is going to take advantage. He does take advantage. The door was open royally for him there. Someone's knocking at your door not go well. Tadpole's closed that gap and Noble's closed on Tadpole. We're in for a barnstormer of a fart last lap. Barnstormer. <coughs> oh, sorry for coughing in your bloody ear. Apologies. Can Bradders close that gap and can Birchie close the gap? Can Dan defend for this final lap? All he needs to do is do a decent defensive drive. There's only 0 0.9. I don't think I don't think Tadpole's gonna be able to close the gap enough. <laughs> can you extend the race by ten laps? I'd love to with this one. Oh, as Bradder shows his nose, that's called sending it. Bradder sent it, no contact, respectfully done. But it was definitely a full send. He licked the stamp, put it on the envelope and went, thank you very much. I don't think he's going to be able to make any impression on Okinos. As we head towards the final corner, 
Bradders is trying everything he can to close that gap. Closes it, closes it, not enough. Okinos, all he's got to do is get his traction out of the corner. And then it's the race two victory for Okinos DD. NWR Dan to be. I think we should change it to NWR Double D. Brad is second, Birchie third, Tadpole fourth, Noble fifth, Mulzane in sixth, Danzilla seventh. Oh, there's a good fight here, unfolded and Nafel. Oh, they've made contact. Folded gets ahead. I don't know what happened. I think we joined that a bit too late. I think they're swearing at each other. Look at them. Uzzy. Uh, trigger 13th. Viper 14th. Uzzy 15th. I enjoyed that one. That was one of them ones that I have... I thoroughly enjoyed. Give you a quick rundown of the finishing positions before I go and rest me voice. Okinos with the win. Bradders, Birchy, Tadpole, Noble, Mosane, Danzilla, Julian, Unfolded, Nofel, Nick, Throttle, Trigger, Viper, Uzzy, Loyal, Scotty Guy and Rick. Thank you all for watching. It was my pleasure, Clam. And ooh, we'll be back next week.